everything is always based on interpretation. People will interpret something in one direction to benefit them. Others will do in you know, another direction. Um, and, and I'll give you a quick example. When I spoke about one shot, one kill, certain persons were offended. But that was fact. As much as it is unfortunate, it is fact. If you have a firearm and somebody is approaching you, you do not shoot the, try to shoot the person in their leg or their arm. You go for a head or chest to neutralize the person. So one shot, one kill is what every single firearm holder will have to ensure that you neutralize the person. Because if you shoot them in such a manner that they can still continue to fire at you, then, then you, you, you can be killed. In the situation uh, with Kamala Prasad, the professor, I, I would like to believe, I will believe that what she's speaking about is if several persons break into your home and they're all coming up in an aggressive manner, you can't just fire one shot. You have to use as much ammunition as possible to neutralize all of the individuals that will be approaching you. So if you have seven persons coming up the stairs, you can't just fire at six persons, the seventh one will kill you. So what uh, I believe that she was, she was alluding to is that there, there's a home invasion and several persons are invading your home. Then what you need to do is to use as much ammunition as possible to neutralize each person. Uh, it does not mean that you have to use excessive force because as soon as the individual has been neutralized, as soon as the threat has been neutralized, you cannot use extra force because now you have, you have neutralized the person. So that's where the minimum use of force comes in. So I think that that is what she was alluding to. I think the more important concern goes back to the point of the present laws that favor the criminal elements rather than law-abiding law citizens. The lady who actually used her husband's firearm to defend herself, why is it now that that firearm must be taken and they may not get it back for several years, which puts their life at risk? Because the, the individuals who may be associated with the person who was killed can now target these same, these same individuals in the home. Likewise, why should she be charged for manslaughter now be seen as um, a criminal when all that she was doing was protecting her home? Which is why we need to amend the law. It does not have to be, we are not speaking about the law by the letter of the law of Samuel Brown similar to the Zimmerman situation. So when she probably speaks about we want to amend laws to ensure that if somebody of football goes into your yard, you can shoot them or steal a mango. That is not what it is that we are saying. That is a lie. We are speaking about making sure that law-abiding citizens have the right to defend themselves if the state is unable to defend them, which is what I intend to do when we get back in government, and also to ensure that, that, that the minimum use of force can be used to protect the, the law-abiding citizens from criminal elements. And it must not be seen in any way that it is something that is going to be used to abuse um, the, the, the citizens when they have firearms to protect themselves.